Okay, good evening everyone. Can listen. Okay, let's see the concept of the inertia. We're going to see the sum concept will happen in our daily life. There's a little with the inertia. Uh, so this one is a one of the sample. Lah. If you sit in the car or in the bar, suddenly they will break. Uh, that means you never ready. Suddenly they go to break. So what happened for the passenger? Uh, all will go to forward. Uh, this one, when you go to forward, actually they're talking about concept of inertia. So we cannot see, but we can feel it. So this one is a one of the example. Okay, when we stood in the bus, okay, we stand suddenly from the rest. Okay, we are lightly fall backward. So that means we are stand in the bus. You are stationary. When the bus suddenly start to move, you are not ready. So you are go to backward. Okay, that means you opposite the direction with the bus. So if moving bus suddenly stop, okay, you continue moving, you follow the bus moving. Suddenly the bus can stop immediately, but your body cannot stop immediately. So you follow the bus to go forward. So that means that one is what? The one the situation is related with your body inertia. Okay, not the bus, it's your body. So we're going to see the more detail. Okay, this is a one of the example. Object placed on a table, that's a stationary. Okay, now tablecloth is under the object. Now you want to pull, you pull the tablecloth. Okay, when you pull, normally we don't want the plate or wash to fall down, you pull faster. Okay, you pull faster. Why you pull faster? Uh, this one is the reason. You pull faster means the cloth can come out faster and also the plate and the wash they're still stationary on the table. They can move a bit, lah, but they will follow the cloth and move. Why? Because the inertia of the object. The object, when starting, they are rest. Suddenly, you go to change the motion. But the object, their tendency to change. They don't want to change. They want to maintain rest. So that's why they never follow the cloth and move. Because the time happened also is a short moment. If... I pull slowly. Uh, if I pull slowly, that means now you can say about no more inertia already. They already follow the cloth and move together. Okay? That one is what we say inertia normally is happen in the suddenly. Okay? The short moment. Okay, so from here, this one is talking about the inertia. Okay, inertia definition. Okay, this one's the definition. Huh? Tendency of an object to remain at rest or moving continue its motion. Okay, in a straight line at a uniform velocity means the object they want remain rest. They also want to continue the motion. Okay, they, they don't want to change the situation, but unless you go to force it. Then you go to force it, then the boxer, lah, they need to move. Lah. So this one we call inertia. If you rest, you want to continue. If you are moving, then you want to continue to move it. So the concept inertia we explain by using the Newton first law of motion. Okay, Newton first law actually got three. Eh? Got three motion law. So inertia already take number one. So that means the situation is the object they don't want to change. Either stationary, either moving, they don't want to change unless you force it. So example, the bus, just now we mentioned about the bus. There's Move, accelerate, go in front, then you go behind. Okay, because when starting, you arrest. You arrest. Then the bus suddenly to move. You want to continue rest, so you go backwards. Uh, this one is suddenly stop. Okay, they hit the wall to stop. Then you continue, go in front, so that's why you launch forward. Okay, so the ball, the bowling ball, you go to strike, go to hit, is it? So that means you cannot stop immediately because something blocked you. Or something to block to you, you still continue to move. Then you continue to move. After that, you hit, then then you drop. So unless you put a block here, lah, and then you cannot move. Okay, the block is stationary and block it, it cannot move. But this one is pin that can move it. So that means when they just try, after that they cannot stop immediately. The rest also changes the situation, then they drop. Okay, then we go do another one. Okay. You see what's the different Newton first law and inertia the definition. Inertia normally they never mention external force. They only to say the object is tendency to change 
the motion when they are rest or they are moving in straight line. But Newton's first law dimension, the object will remain rest or move uniform velocity. Okay, they add this one unless upon by the external force. You cannot say the object will move. The object can move if the force is over. La. If the force is over, sure the object can be changed the direction. Okay, so this one is a Newton first law. If the question asks concept, your answer is inertia. If the question asks law or they ask principle, okay, you, you must answer Newton first law of motion. So that means Newton first law motion is a top law. The inertia just under this one law only. Okay, so the example for the activity you can see. Okay, the coin is on the cardboard. After that, when you jerk, so normally uh, inertia is happen very fast, short moment. You go to jerk faster. So actually, what you can see, the coin will drop into the uh, glass. Okay, when you see the ball is moving continuously, constant velocity. After that, you want to stop it. And you will take some force to stop it because the inertia is a height. They continue to move it. Okay, so from here, some is kick the ball. Okay, the ball is coming very fast. After that, you go to kick some more, they will continue the direction to move. Easy to move, lah, means already moving, then you go to kick some more. If they are rest, so you want to kick it, you need to move more effort because they already is a rest. Suddenly, you want to change the motion. So from here, you can see the Newton first law. Object at rest will remain rest unless you add the force. To add the force, no choice. Lah. They need to move. So an object in a motion, when they are already in the motion, moving constant velocity, so you go to stop it. You're using the neck to stop it. So finally, there's an unbalanced force. Finally, that is stop. So this one is talking about the Newton first law. The force to make it to change the situation. Okay, inertia concept normally we didn't talking about the force lah. We just talking about the inertia how to happen. Okay, this one is a one of the example the activity just now. So they put a coin. After that, they go to jerk the cardboard. Okay, so the coin drop into the glass. So first one we go to C observation. Number two, we need to explain why this one situation become like this. Okay, so we're going to see observation. When the cardboard just pull away quickly, lah, normally see, normally we need to put the word quickly. The coin will drop straight into the glass. Okay, explain why. Why you must talking about inertia already. Okay, the inertia is for the coin. Eh? Don't forget, not because of the cardboard. Cardboard is you control by yourself. So it's the coin you never control. So we're talking about the inertia of the coin. They want to maintain stationary. Okay, maintain the original position. That's a stationary. Okay, even when the cardboard is withdrawn. So finally, they drop into the glass. Why? Because pulled by the gravitational force. Okay, the gravity to pull the object, then go downwards. Okay, so this one is a situation for the inertia. We cannot, uh, we cannot do the, any calculation. We also uh, cannot see it. Uh, but this one situation can let you to see what is the inertia. Okay, then this one is another one. The bus. Okay, you see the passenger. When they start to move, uh, they go behind. Start to move, they go behind. Okay, when the bus moves, the passenger will move backwards. To maintain his original state. The original state is a rest. Okay, when the bus suddenly stops, okay, uh, they will go forward. So this one is the passenger body maintain forward because the bus already forward, then you forward. Lah. Then suddenly the bus can stop immediately, but your body cannot. So you continue to move, then you go forward. Okay, so this one is an inertia for the passenger not inertia for the bus. Okay, original state of motion. So this one, they explain for you. Inertia of the passenger maintain the original state. So there is either rest or either motion. 
So this one, when stop, then you go forward. When start to move, you go backwards. So this one is a one of the uh, easy the situation to explain for you what is the inertia. Okay, now we're going to see inertia relationship with the mass. So that means mass and inertia actually there's a directly proportional. So I can say when the object, the mass increasing, more heavier, the inertia is bigger. So from here, we got bowling ball, we got football. Sure understood lah, the bowling ball, the mass should be higher. So that means you want to stop the bowling ball and stop the football, sure, be more easier to stop the football because the mass is a less and also inertia also smaller. So you want to let it to stop it. So you apply the force to stop the object. So the football should be easier. So now we're going to see the explanation for these two. Object with bigger mass. Okay, more difficult to set in the motion or stop from the moving. Uh, these words stand for inertia. Difficult to stop, difficult to start. Uh, this one means inertia. So that means when I find the bowling ball, they're very hard to start. You kick, uh, very hard to kick, very heavy. Uh, you want to move it. So when they start to roll already, you want to stop it, also it's a hard compared to the football. So means the inertia for the ball is higher. Lah. So we compare as a lighter object. So what is the relationship between the mass and inertia? So the relationship should be directly proportional. Okay, now we're going to see the larger the mass, the larger the inertia of the object. So from here, this one is a some example. Same trolley. Okay, one trolley is full with the grocery. So you find the mass increasing. A mass increasing, so inertia should be increased. Inertia increase means difficulty to move and also difficulty to start. So from here, I find it the empty trolley, easy to pull. Okay, and the grossly full one, the trolley, they're very hard to pull. So this one is a larger inertia compared to the empty trolley. Okay, this one's a one of the example. Okay, observation. The pale field with the sand is more reluctant to move and also more difficulty to stop. Okay, the spring, when they just like it to swing. So you see the big one with the sand one is more heavier. Okay, you want to swing it hard a bit. When they start to swing already, you're very hard to stop it. So this one explanation. The pale field with the sand has greater inertia. Why? Because the mass is bigger compared to the empty one. Okay, this is a one experiment. The school must do it. There's a uh, wajib, the compulsory experiment. Huh? Okay, inertia and also object. You need to find the relationship. Okay, normally the inference, uh, we must have the word depends. Huh? What depends to what? Normally we're talking about the RV depends the MV. Okay, then the hypothesis. Okay, hypothesis, I cannot say mass directly proportional with the inertia. This one cannot to write because hypothesis is an initial conclusion. This one you can write in conclusion. After you do experiment, you can write, but starting cannot write. You only can write the larger the mass, the larger the inertia. Okay, because this one is before you do experiment, you assume. So you can write, oh, the larger, the larger. You cannot straightforward to write the conclusion. Okay, to study the relationship between the inertia and also mass. So you can see from the inference, hypothesis, and aim, I still mention inertia. Okay, I still can mention inertia. But until the variable, I never mention inertia already. Because inertia cannot count. We cannot count the inertia. Physics is my physical quantity, but inertia we cannot count. So we're using period of oscillation to represent inertia. So from here, if you write inertia, they will minus your marks. Okay, we cannot write. But some students we ask, if starting I already using period oscillation, can or not? Can. Okay, from the inference, from the hypothesis, from the aim, you say you're using period oscillation. Okay, never mind. Okay, it's a calculating physical quantity. Can we can use it? Just the inertia until variable we cannot use. Okay, because there's a not physical quantity, we cannot count. 
So from here, we make the MV is a mass. We control the mass of the plasticine. Number two, the period of the oscillation means one complete oscillation. Okay, we're using hexaw blade. We put the plasticine. When I pull part A, then release, they go to part B, they go to part C. So when A go to B, go to C, and come back to the A, our barrel, we count as a one complete oscillation. So this one we call period of the oscillation. Okay, normally we cannot count because too fast. So we count more than one, maybe 10 or 20. Later you do the calculations. Okay, after that, the constant variable is the distance between the G-clamp. Okay, this one you clamp with the table. Okay, this one distance. G-clamp and the plasticine. This one distance is constant variable. If you said that's a 10 cm, uh, must be always is a 10 cm. Because different distance, the hexaw blade, when it just oscillate, they will be different. Okay, we just almost, uh, not exactly perfect. Almost the distance is a constant. Okay, after that, we're using stopwatch because you need to know the time. G clamp, meter rule, or meter rule, you want to measure the distance, then jigsaw blade. Okay, so the first one you need to mention later, uh, you need to mention using how many plasticity. So material using 30, 40, at least got five. Eh? At least got five. Okay, six, seven, eight is up to you. But minimum is a five set. Okay, diagram important, very important. So when you draw already, please label because we don't know what is you drawing. Some drawing is very good, some drawing is very bad. So after you draw, you go to label. After label, then we know already. Okay, so this one we call it distance between the clamp and also the uh, plasticine. Uh, this one must be constant. Okay. Why I say drawing important? Because you see the first sentence. I no need to mention how you go to clap, how you go to put, uh, because I draw already. So I just say, oh, apply the set light above diagram. That's all. Okay, so I no need to explain how you go to clamp the leg, la, then the hexaw blade, how you go to put, la, then how many distance, la, I no need to mention. All in my diagram already. That's all. Okay. Then number two, important, you need to mention MV, the first MV. You put how many grams of the plasticine, okay, at the end of the jigsaw. Okay, this one is an MV max. Okay, number two, okay, this one is a display the free end of the jigsaw blade horizontal and release it so that the plasticine is oscillate. Okay, so from here, number three, after you put the MV, so you must say you need to oscillate, release, Horizontal and also release so that the plasticine can be oscillate. You must say you pull. Okay, you pull after that, you let it to oscillate. Okay, then number four, you must mention you do how many times. Okay, if you do 10 complete, then you set 10 complete, then you label this one as a T1. Okay, T1. So this one question normally we do repeat. Okay, we do repeat time. This one is a 30 gram. Okay, first time I do already, I label T1. 20 complete oscillation. So I take uh, 10 seconds, 10.0 seconds. Okay, then I repeat again T2. I get 10.02 seconds. Uh, 10.2 only. Because I cannot read two decimal point. So 10.2 seconds. So finally, you need to find the mean value. Okay, T1 plus T2 divided by 2. And you find the mean value because you want to increase the accuracy. Okay, the accurate answer. So that's why we do twice. Okay, after you do twice already, okay, then you say repeat. So I need to repeat step two until step five by using different methods 40, 50, 60, 70. So you repeat four times. Lah. Just now using one time. So total is a five. Okay, so this one is a how to write procedure. Okay, this one is a sum example when they do the experiment. Okay, electric balance because they want to measure the plasticine. The stopwatch, hexaw blade, then this one is a G clamp. Okay, so they just put at the one of the Tiang only. Uh, then after that, they put this one. Plasticine, uh, then they oscillate the start. 
Uh, so you see very carefully because very fast. Okay, very fast when it just oscillate. And then you drop down the time. Make sure your stopwatch can read how many decimal point, then you start. So after you do, you repeat. Okay? So example from here, when 40 gram, I get like this. 60. You can see the time keep increasing. 100. Okay, finish. They do until 100. So the time ticket is uh, 6, uh, 7. Uh, you see which 7 or not, uh, we still do know you're going to focus. Uh, exactly 7, then 7. Uh, it's a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So decimal point is 1 decimal point because inside got 5 division. So suppose it's uh, 5 to 6, 5.2, 5.4, 5.6, uh, until 6. Uh, depend how many division for the equipment. Okay, then we go to the next one. This one also one of the things you can do in the school. They're using the leg of the table. Okay, so they just hexoblade after they put plasticine. Okay, 30 gram. Uh, when they put already, they go to oscillate. Uh, then they go to count. Okay, time taken, they drop down. 4.3. Then when 40 gram, they also go to oscillate. Uh, then they find it 4.8. Then continue 50 gram. Then you can see the time is keep increasing when the mass of the plasticine increasing. Okay, 60, then the 70. Okay, then until, okay, finish. So this one is a table, I get it. Okay, so this one is a time taken for 10 complete oscillation. If you got two reading, that means you need to find the mean value. Okay, after that, I need to divide by 10 when I want to find the periods. Okay, so I find it when the mass increasing. Okay, so the time taken, complete oscillation, also increasing. So period of oscillation actually is a, what's the meaning? Inertia. So from here, I can prove already. When the mass increase, inertia also increase. Okay, they take longer time to oscillate. Okay, so finish. So this is a table from your textbook. So you fill in T1, T2, you find the average. So this is T. Depend you oscillate how many times. If you 10 times, then you divide by 10. Okay, after that, they want you to find T squared. T squared, that means you take this one T answer, you go to square it. Remember, many students forget to write the unit is a S squared. Okay, T squared. Uh, T, you go to square, the second also must square. So this one is the reminder for you. Okay, you find the average. After that, you do the calculation. Okay, so from here, this one explain for you. The period of oscillation actually is a T average over time. So you get, or you say T1 and T2, you want to find the average divided by 2. So we plot the graph, this one, T2 against the M, T squared against the M. So based on the graph, when the mass of plasticity increase, mass increase, the period of the oscillation also increase. So your graph, you must show the line should be the straight line to go up. So the mass of the plasticine, okay, so we just answer the larger the mass of the plasticine, the larger the inertia of the plasticine. Okay, both also larger. Okay, conclusion, when the mass of the object increase, so the uh, inertia, uh, from here you can say about inertia already. You also can say period of oscillation. You also can say inertia because we do the experiment already. The inertia also increase. So we just add the hypothesis is accepted. Okay, discussion. How can this one apparatus set up to use to determine the mass of an object? Okay, by using the okay apparatus set up. Uh, Okay, how you go to measure the mass? We're using the triple beam balance. Okay, triple beam balance. Or you say digital balance. Okay, how to measure the plasticine? So we're using the triple beam balance to measure. After that, all we're using the digital balance to measure. Okay, normally the experiment, they just give you one pack, the big plasticine. Then after that, you need to measure by yourself. Okay, if you measure wrong, that means you'll, count, you'll get the result also wrong. Lah. Okay? Every student, one set, we never sharing for the real experiment practical. 
Okay, explain one precaution to improve the accuracy of the result. So when the question says increase the accuracy, normally we're talking repeat. Okay, repeat the experiment and find the average. So you do twice. For the time taken just now, you do twice. Why you do twice? Because you want to increase the accuracy of the result. Okay, so this one is the experiment you normally done in the school. Okay, inertia of the object is related to the mass. Okay, here is a conclusion. Eh? Okay, the horizontal oscillation in the inertial balance are not influenced by the gravitational force. That means you go to oscillate, that's not related with the gravity. No, they don't care about you do at the moon. You do at the earth, they do at the planet, you find it, the oscillation is still the same. That's not related with the G. Okay, the period of oscillation, a horizontal oscillation of the inertial balance depends only the mass and also uh, mass on it. Just depends on the mass. Your plasticine changes the mass, so the time taken will be changes. Okay, the larger the mass, the larger the inertia. So this is a conclusion. Or the just now experiment to prove mass and inertia actually was the relationship. Okay, so that means we don't have any calculation. We only say about inertia. First one, what's the meaning? Okay, number number two, we find some citation related with the inertia in our daily life. Then number three, we related with the mass and also inertia. Okay, now number four, we see the affected inertia in our daily life. Okay, this is the one situation. How to make the head of the hammer? Okay, this one is the handle. Okay, how to make it tighten? The head tighten with the hammer. Don't let it to fall out. So this one they say this causes the hammer head to continue on its downwards motion when the handle has been stopped. So that the top of the handle is slotted deeper into the hammer head. So normally you want to make it become tightened. You hold the hammer to hit at the bottom. You not the ballet go to hit. Huh? If you the ballet go to hit, when you take out, uh, the handle and the head will be separate. So that means you knock at the handle, you find it, the upper part, the heavy part, they will continue and move. Continue together with the handle, move downwards. So you suddenly stop. Your handle, you knock, is it? you suddenly stop. You find it the head that still continue go downwards because it's too heavy and also inertia is a bigger, very hard to change the motion. So they continue the motion go downwards. So finally, you find it the head tightened with the handle. So this one we're talking about inertia of the hammer head. Okay, number two is the umbrella. Okay, the droplets on the raindrop on the umbrella when you start to rotate. So they say they are the motion on the umbrella rotated. When the umbrella stop rotate, you stop rotate the raindrop. Actually, they never immediately and stop. They also continue to fall down. Okay, when they continue to fall down, we can explain about inertia of the raindrops. Because the umbrella, you stop swing, you stop the rotate. Then the droplets inertia. Okay, the raindrop inertia cannot immediately stop. They continue the motion of rotate. So finally, you find it, they drop to the outside. Okay, so this one is a one of the effect of the inertia in our daily life. So the question like this, uh, how they come up? They come up for process testing. Example, the essay question. The first one, definition. The second one is a comparison. Then they continue C. C, they will ask you one process. Maybe they ask inertia. Okay, how the rain drop on the umbrella will continue to drop? although you stop to rotate. Uh, so you need to bring the inertia, go in to explain. Okay, this one is a process question. Eh? Okay, so this one also same, the effect for the bus. Okay, passenger will thrown backwards when the bus rests suddenly and also start moving backwards. So this one's a passenger, they thrown forward when moving bus suddenly to stop. So they ask you why you need to explain. So you're talking about inertia of the passenger. What happened? Then you see the next part. Okay, chili sauce. When you uh, shake the chili sauce, so they say how you pour the chili sauce come out from the bottle. 
So the chili sauce or you say tomato sauce in the bottle, they flow up when the glass is moved quickly. So you must bend downwards, then you must shake quickly first. Then you suddenly stop. When you see the sauce is almost come out already, then you stop. And when you stop ready, you find it, they continue to flow up. Okay, continue to flow up. Why? Because the inertia of the sauce cause it to continue moving. Because they continue moving with the bottle. The bottle just now, the shake go downwards, is it? They also go downwards. So they cannot stop immediately with the bottle. So they come up. Okay? So the sauce, you find it, they will flow up. So this is a one of the inertia of the chili sauce. Okay, so this one is a one of the questions they also will ask. Why the oil tanker? Okay, on the lorry, they will separate by uh, the certain certain tanker. They never using the large one. Okay, they certain part by part. Okay, this one is the reason. Huh? Oil tanker truck have the large inertia. The lorry already is a big size. Okay, some more you plus the oil. Okay, the oil also got mass. There's a larger mass. So in fact, an oil tanker truck has in storage tank divided in the several separate tank. So if you never separate, we count whole tank is a one mass. So whole tank is a one mass means the oil is very large inertia. Uh, very large inertia, then you know, uh, not easy to stop and not easy to start. Uh, when it just moving, swing, uh, that means you find it the inertia for the oil is very large. So they, when they go to divide it, become the small tanker. So they separate to count already. Or oh, this one, one tank, one inertia, second inertia, third inertia. So you can find it, the inertia for certain tank decreases. So when it decreases, that means you decrease the dangerous when it's just moving, when it just shake. Okay? So this one is a separate tank, reduce the impact, the inertia of the petrol. So this is a one of the thing. Okay, another one you can see the furniture. Sometimes you transfer house, you want to change the new house, you bring the furniture, go to the new house, is it? So the lorry, they bring all the furniture. So the furniture, they're separate one by one, one by one. We've got fridge, we got sofa, we got cupboard. And normally they go to tie together. Uh, that one is a solid thing. This one is a liquid, liquid easy to swing. But the solid, when you never tie, they count one by one, is it? Count one by one means the inertia becomes very small. When the inertia becomes small, they're easy to shake, is it? So your cupboard will fall down. Then your sofa will fall down. Uh, so from here, when this one solid object, they will tie together uh, using the string and tie together. So when your emergency go to stop, uh, the inertia for the furniture is a bit. Uh, that's not easy to move. Uh, so that's why they safe. Uh, if you never go to tie, that means when your emergency go to break, uh, the cupboard, one inertia. Then your chair, another inertia. So they will fall down. This one is a reason. How to make the inertia bigger? How to make the inertia smaller? Depend the situation. You want inertia big or you want the inertia become smaller. Okay? So we got daily life. We got so many things is related with the physics, but we not realize. So sometimes you got to think about this one. Is it, uh, why happened like this? Is it related with what we learned before? So this one is a uh, physics. Okay, this one is a one of the effect also inertia for roller coaster. You can see the roller coaster normally happen in short moment. Okay, where got roller coaster when they tebale 360, they still slower. When they slow, then you fall down already. So that's why they happen in a short moment. Okay, short moment means the passenger not enough time to change the situation. You are continue to move. So you continue to move lah. If the slow time, that means you enough time to fall down already. So that's why this one is a effect. So when the carrier of the lower coaster changes the direction of motion, suddenly uh, you never flow out. The initial of the rider keep them in their original state of motion. So that means you are continuing with the lower coaster and moving. So the safety system ensures that the rider remain in their seat and not thrown out during the motion. So this one is a one of the things related with the inertia. Uh, when you just up slowly, never mind up only, ma, because the gravitational force still pull you go downwards. 
But then just down after that, you uh, over the ballet 360. Uh, that one position must be very fast. Okay, that means prevent you to fall down. Okay, safety in the car. Safety in the car, we also using inertia to explain. So example is the seatbelt. Seatbelt is a one of the things that's important because you got inertia. When the car suddenly stop, okay, you are thrown forward. If you're thrown forward without any seatbelt, then you will hit to the touch board. If not, you will thrown outwards through the screen, you go outwards. Okay, through the window, then you go outwards. So this one is when the car stop suddenly, then the driver and the passenger in the car will thrown forward because of the inertia. You cannot immediately to stop. So the seat belt will prevent you thrown forward. Okay, this one is a one of the uh, one of the safety in the car. Number two is a headrest. Uh, normally the headrest is behind your head, holding your neck. So this one headrest is prevent injured to the neck during the rear end collisions. Okay, the inertia of the head tends to keep keep your head okay stationary. So suddenly the car want to move, you go back. Where is it? So that means the the headrest holding your neck. Okay, do not prevent your neck go behind. So this one is a one of the safety. Okay, number three, I think everyone also know there's a airbag. Okay, now the car, uh, they got six airbags, uh, including the driver and also the passenger in front and behind. Okay, the airbag is fit inside the steering wheel. Uh, for the driver, is at the steering wheel. It prevents cushion. They're just like the cushion. It's just like the balloon to come up. Okay, to prevent the driver hitting the steering Okay, or the passenger hitting the touch board. Okay, although there's a not so hard material, but you, when the speed is very high, when you just hit, they also will be injured. Okay, so this one is a one of the safety in the car. Okay, so you can minimize the negative effect. So example, seat belt, a bag. So you can see this one, they separate the tank. Okay, separate the tank. So, uh, so this one object. Okay, so that one is the inertia. So we go to answer one example question. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, this one question in your paper. Okay, you can see the structure question. Question fourteen. They show about the lorry A and also the B. Uh, we go to understanding the diagram first. Okay, both also moving constant velocity sixty. Okay, the driver saw the traffic light turn yellow and they are immediately to step the brake pedal and manage to stop the lorry. Okay, first one, we know this one, mass meter. Okay, understood, inertia meter. So inertia meter means not easy to stop. Okay, they will take longer time to stop okay so this one is the differences for the lorry with grocery another lorry is empty okay now we go to see the next one okay stop already yeah okay now the diagram 2 a also b show the time taken for them to stop okay i find it the lorry b they stop very closer with the traffic light okay lorry b Okay, far a bit compared to lorry A. So I can say the conclusion here is a mass increase. Okay, the S1 is shorter. Okay, near with the traffic light. Okay, this one S2 is longer a bit. Okay, when the mass less. Okay, so this one we call analyzing the diagram before we go to question. Okay, after that, the question also show you the time taken. Okay, this one for the lorry A. Okay, the lorry A take about 45 seconds to stop it. Okay, then the lorry B, suppose lah, because they show, uh, yeah, they mentioned already, lorry A already. Okay, this one take 30 seconds. 
to stop. Okay, so from here we can make some relationship already. The mass increase as one shorter. Then time taken to stop is 45. Longer lah. Okay. When the mass drop, S2 is further. And the time is around 13 seconds. So shorter. So this one is what I understand from the diagram before I go to see the question. So like this is more easier let you to answer the question because you already understand. Then later the question asks you, you can straightforward to answer it. So better than you see the question, baru go and understand the diagram. So this one is the technique how to answer the question. Okay, now we go to answer. Compare the mass of the lorries. So mass of lorry A bigger than B. Okay, that's all. Okay, don't write symbol. Don't say, oh, lorry. Lorry A bigger than B. Uh, don't write this one. Uh. Better, don't write this one. We write full sentence. Mass of the lorries A is bigger than B. Okay, number two. Distance of the lorry to stop from the traffic. Okay, actually, go answer. Uh, go answer. Mass of the lorry A bigger than lorry B. Okay, compare the distance of the lorry to stop. So I find it S1 is shorter, S2 is longer. So we just answer S1 shorter than S2. Okay, the question got mentioned S1, S2, or the diagram also got. So you can using S1 and also S2. Okay, this one called comparison question. Eh? Okay, third one, relationship. After compare sure in relationship, Okay, relationship between the mass and also the S, okay, of the trolley to a lorry to stop from the traffic light. So I find it when the mass increase, okay, distance of the lorry to stop from the line of traffic light, shorter. So you copy from here, like, distance of the lorry to stop from the line of traffic light become shorter. Okay, when the mass increase, either one you go to explain. Either lorry B, either lorry A, up to you. So from here, we just answer. The bigger the mass, the shorter the distance. Uh, so that means there's no need to mention distance is what? Already here. You want to mention full also can? You mention distance also can. But important, you mention distance. Uh, don't say uh, the bigger the mass, the smaller the S1. Uh, S1 we do know, but the question never mentioned S. So from here, we cannot say S already. The question never mentioned. Okay, we need to write distance. Or you write full. Okay, then the next comparison is a time taken. Compare the time taken for the lorries to stop. So we just answer lorry A take longer time compared to the lorry B. Okay, some student will answer lorry A 45 minute, 45 second, lorry B 30 second. Is it correct? Is it correct, Chen Yu? Is it correct? If I mention 45 second and also 30 second? Uh, no. No, ah. Uh? Because they say compare. They never say state. Uh, if they say state, uh, then you state. Lah. Compare, you must say bigger, smaller, uh, something like this. So the answer is the time taken for lorry A is longer. Okay, after that relationship again, the mass and the time. Mass increase, time taken, longer. Okay, time taken is longer. So the bigger the time, the longer the time taken to stop. Okay, then we go through the next part. Okay, name the physics principle. Ah, you can see the word very big. Principle. So they ask principle, they're not asked about the concept. So your answer is um, uh, normally we sell them to write this. Huh? This is a concept. So you need to write the big one. Newton. First law of motion. Okay? Uh, if you really cannot remember the principle, you only know inertia, then you just put. Okay? Don't put two. Huh? Two, that means they go to mark number one, the first answer only. They never mark the second answer. So if really do know, then you put inertia. So when they ask about principle, normally it's a Newton first law of motion. 
unless they ask what is the phenomena, then you write in the shirt. Uh, what is the concept, then you write in the shirt. Okay, now define the physics principle you mentioned. Uh. So that means Newton first law, you know the explain. Uh. What's the meaning for Newton first law? Okay, we just put the definition for Newton first law. The natural tendency of an object, okay, to maintain the state of the rest or remain in uniform motion in a straight line, okay, and less acting by a force. Okay, that means the natural tendency object, they want to maintain rest or maintain uniform motion in a straight line unless acting by a force. When they got force, that means the no choice for it. They must do change. So actually all inside the notes, they got tell you what is that. Lah. All the info is there. So you must refer the citation. Re refer the citation when they just ask you to explain, then you know how to explain. Remember the keyword enough. No need bullet bullet when memorize the words. Remember the keyword, then use your own sentence to join. Okay, we go to the last one. State one safety device should be fit in the lorry to reduce the negative impact of uh, the driver during the accident for the physics principle. So you mentioned, depend the present remarks. Lah. If they say two marks, you mention two things. So normally we're talking about the seat belt and also the air belt. Okay, or you say hip rest. Okay, seat belt or air belt. So these two is uh, important for the safety in the uh, drive, uh, in the car. Okay, yeah? so we go and see some example question from here. Okay, go to answer. Huh? Okay, which one following has the largest inertia? Okay, you tell me. A until donkey. Okay, we call the people. Go to answer. Huh? Okay, uh, I want Wen Xuan. Which one got larger inertia? Boy, boy. Okay, depends for what you see. Which one depends on the mat. Okay, between on the mat. You see, rest already. Sleeping already is a rest. The kitten also resting. The pen also rest. What? Then important is the mass. Okay, the mass is elephant. Okay, number three. Which one following has the smallest inertia? Okay, we ask the uh, uh, Xiangyi smallest inertia. A. Hey. Okay, a, a piece of paper. Okay, a piece of paper. Okay, number four, to bring the cruise ship to stop. Okay, cruise ship to stop. Uh, the engine is normally cut off. You cannot undo the jetty, you go to stop, you know. Several kilometers, you need to stop already. Okay, from the port. So why that's a, so difficult to stop the cruise ship? Okay, the cruise ship. Okay, reason is answer from Tongzhen. Number four. C. C, okay, we're talking about the inertia. Okay, so we just for example from here. Okay, now you're going to see back the paper. Tutorial from your paper. Okay, first one. Which of following statement is a true? Anchi, your answer? Okay, answer C. Okay, the longest one, the answer. Huh? Okay, must see property, body to resist to change the state, press or motion. Huh? So C. Okay, number two. Number two, we find the relationship. They ask you which one is correct for the observation. So we find this one sand, sure this one heavier. Not easy to move and not easy to stop. So the answer is donkey. Difficulty to start and dif uh, difficulty to stop. Huh? Okay, number three. The question asked did not show correct observation. So that means which one observation is wrong, they ask you. Okay, three. Okay, we're going to uh, ask Chia Yin. Boy. Boy, the observation boy is wrong. The coin dropped into the glass because gravity gravity pull. Uh, wrong, man? Not gravity pull. Uh. Okay, we're going to check. Uh. The coin remains stationary. Wow. Because the inertia. Okay, the coin inertia remain rest. So they don't want to fall down. Okay, correct. Okay, the coin drop because pull by gravity, correct? Okay, when they don't want to go, they extra come down, pull by gravity. You see the C. 
the coil drop into the glass because inertia of motion of the cardboard. No, not because of cardboard. It's inertia of the coil. Okay, so C actually is wrong. Okay, not related for this one situation. You must see, be careful. There's an inertia of the coil, not inertia for the cardboard. Okay, number four, greatest inertia. We just find the mass. Lah. The mass is the highest. I find it there's a shape. Okay, this one, backward moment. Suddenly, uh, they accelerate. They start to accelerate, they go to backward. So, this has a concept of the inertia. Okay, number six. Uh, number six, they place one of the object S at the top of the trolley. What happened to the wooden when the trolley is collided with the stone? Uh, so you find it. This one is left one word, uh, left. Okay, Tongchen, your answer number six is a? A. A, go to the left. Uh. When I hit, the S will go to behind. This one called left. Uh. This one is a left. Okay, suddenly I hit the stone, that means I will stop. Uh. So what happened for the S? Is it go to the left? No, 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 I go to the right. Ah, must go to the right, just like the bus. Suddenly they stop, then you go forward. Okay, seven. The factor affect the inertia of the object. So we just only find mass. Okay, number eight. So they say the lorry start to move. The watermelon will roll from A to B. Ah, so this one is a inertia. You got two bottles, X and Y, placed on the P. Trolley P and trolley Q. Okay, so this one, go here is a right, huh? go here is a right, go here is a left. Okay, so when the question they just mentioned, trolley P collide with the stationary Q. Uh, P got moving. P go to hit the Q. Okay, so what happened for the X and what happened for the Y? So we go to ask Yan Yi. B. The X will go to the right. B, okay, correct. The X will go to the right hand side. Okay, they go forward. Then this one never move on, suddenly go to move, they go to backwards. So they go to the left. So the answer is boy. Okay, so the saucer, when they come to quickly faster, okay, now they never give you inertia, they give you the law only. So this one is Newton first law. Okay, sub, uh, 11, we got P and Q, we got track X and Y. What will happen to the sphere Q? Snap down quickly, faster you can pull the Q. Okay, what happened? Okay, Chen Yu? Uh, A. A. X will broken. Okay, how many say X is correct? Okay, suppose not A, eh? the answer X is not break one. If I pull faster, suddenly I go to pull, X, the Y will snap first. Okay, why the X will snap first? Because they got inertia from the straight, uh, from the track. The track inertia, they do want to change the motion. Actually, it's a P. La. They do want to change the motion from the track to the P. They never tell the P what you need to do. So only the Y, they immediately follow the Q and fall down and fall down. Okay, the X then don't have any import because the situation will happen too short. So the Y together Q and move down because of the inertia. Okay, if I say slowly, I slowly to pull. When I slowly to pull, that means all the information that can send ready. From the Q, I pull. Q go wait. P also got wait. Now that means now the strap X, they need to support two weight. P and Q. So finally, the X will be snapped if slowly. Okay, if fast, that means there's not enough time to change the situation. Then they continue, pull by the Q, then this one, Y, together and move. Then the P, no changes. The P inertia is still there. Okay, they never change any position. You want to pull it down, but the P, they never pull down. They continue. So finally, only the Y follow and drop. Okay, so this one is a situation. What's the difference? You can try by yourself this one thing. You can type the any uh, the rubber band, the small one, or you try any the strap. That's the easy to pull one. Then you try. When you pull faster, what happened? Then you see what differences. So suppose the answer is a Y that we broken because of this one keyword quickly. 
If I never say click click, actually the apps will trap down, will fall down because they cannot support so many force. One is a P, one is a Q, another one is my force. I go to pull, so they cannot support. So if click click, only the Y can be happened. So from here, question 12, uh, this one they ask you, uh, show the effect of the inner shirt. So which one spot they show inner shirt? Uh, the answer is donkey. Okay, 13, you see 7.1, they show the coin Okay, on the loop. Okay, top of the spiral. 7.2, they show the same cycle, the circle along the top cap of the pencil, then the coin falling into the jar. So when I just hit this one, look to fall down, then the coin will straightforward drop in. So this one is a concept of the, so that means you must jerk faster, then baru the coin can come down. If you slowly to move, actually the coin will come up together. Okay, 14, we already finished. Huh? So we're going to see the, the short one, there's a 15. Okay, 15, they show about the thin P. And also the Q, Q got water. Huh? Okay, the student feel that's a very difficult to push the Q. Okay, write the inference about the observation. Why they're very hard to pull. So the first one, uh, we can say, remember the inference when you write the report. RV depends on V. So now you tell me what is the RV here? P and Q, what is the RV? Okay, you can say inertia is the RV. Okay, if I don't want to mention inertia, I can copy from the, uh, the question. Difficulty to push. This one is RV. MV is what MV is a mass, lah, because two things got different mass. So I can say uh, the difficulty, okay, the difficulty to move or say to push of the team is depends on its mass okay remember for the hypo uh, inference must have the word depends are we depends and we so if hypothesis you just mentioned when the mass increase the difficulty to move the team also increase the one is hypothesis okay diagram to show about being released from the different position one is an m one is an n they go to release so the hand of the student at the position r need greater force to stop the motion when the thin just come out from the m okay they're using more effort to stop when the thin just fall down from the m now first one we know the height is a different when the height increase velocity increase so velocity increase you need to using more force lah, to stop it more energy to stop it so we just answer velocity from position m is greater okay so kinetic energy of thin increase so the force used to stop it also increase okay so this is a reason important the keyword is velocity okay when the velocity you must got the force okay the force to stop it because the energy is too high already so you need to overcome the high energy so you're using the force to stop it okay if the water flow up from the hole of the bottom of the thin Q. Thin Q got hole, then the water drop up. Okay? How about the inertia of the thin Q? Depends on the time. Okay? So depends on the time. So that means the time is longer. What do you think about the inertia of the thin Q? Okay? We go to ask uh, time longer. The inertia of the thin Q will less or more? More. More. Time taken longer. So the bottom got hole. The bottom got hole. Then if time taken longer, that means more water will flow out, is it? Then when the more water will flow out, 
what you think about inertia? Oh, shelter, shelter. Okay. So that means when the water just flow out, the time longer, more water will flow out. Lah. When the more water will flow, the mass will drop. Lah. Okay, they become lighter already. When they become lighter, the inertia becomes smaller already. Okay, yeah? So that means we can depend from the time. So we need to mention the time is out. Okay, in the inertia decreases. Okay, as the time longer. Okay, that depends for the times. So if the time for this one situation they become longer, so the inertia will drop. Okay, if the situation don't have any hole, uh, not related with the time. Uh, okay, when you swing, the inertia must be longer, uh, the time must be longer. But this one, the problem is they got hole. Uh, finally, the water drop. Okay, when the time longer some more, that means you'll find it that will be easy to pull. Easy to pull, inertia will be keep decreasing. Okay. Okay, so from here, I go through until the last questions are more. Huh? So we complete this one topic. Okay, 8.1, 8.2, they show the same trying to push a bull and a calf. Okay, sure this one mass is higher. Lah. You can see they put more effort to pull it, more forces to pull it. This one lighter. Okay. So from here, we're going to see the question. They say easy to push. Okay, what mean by mass? Okay, mass means amount, metal, or say quantity of metal of an object. Okay, some say quantity. Of metal of an object also can. Okay, must metal of an object. Okay, now you see this one got how many comparison? Ah? Compare the difficulty uh, which the pool and the calf to be moved. Okay, number one, compare. Which one easy to move, which one very hard to move. Okay, number two, relating the mass of the pool and the calf with the level of difficulty to getting them to move, okay, to change their direction when the animal are on run. So you must talking about the pool, the mass is higher, so that not easy to getting to move and also not easy to change the direction. Then you're talking about the calf, calf the mass is lower, so they're easy to change the direction and also easy to be moved, okay? Then the last one, Raren Physic concept. Concept only, yeah. So we go to answer. Okay, this one, second one. Uh, second one actually got two. Two, one is for pool, another one for the calf. Three. Okay, after that concept. Okay, we go to number one. Pool, the bull is more difficult. To move. Okay, compare the calf. Okay, this one's a one point. Okay, second one. Second one, I compare about the mass. Okay, we together, mass and difficulty. Yeah? Okay, the bigger the mass of the bull. Okay, inertia increase and level of difficulty to move or change direction. Also increase. Okay, so we mentioned about the mass and also the changes difficulty. So this one actually got two marks already. Okay, for the bull only got two marks. Okay, number three, you repeat again, but you're talking about the calf. Okay, the smaller, the uh, you continue the mass of the calf. 
C A L F. Then you say inertia decreases. And uh, then you continue the level of difficulty to move and to change the direction also decreases. So these are already got two marks are more. Okay, the last one is the number four. Number four, we're talking physics concept. Is inertia. Okay, so this one is how you get the one, two, three, six mark already from this question. Okay, you can write until you got six mark, but we do know how many marks are normally the question is of five marks only. Okay, so the last one, physics principle. Ah, so there's a Newton. First law of motion. Okay, so this one is the answer. Okay. Any question you want to ask about the initial? Just a short topics. Just for one of the experiment, that's a compulsory you need to do. Huh? Now, this one was the one of the simple experiment that, that will come out during the exam one. Because quite simple to prepare. Okay, the others. Any question you want to ask me about this topic? Your mind, you want to hear one money, man? Sangi, you don't see one, ma? No. Dong Zhang, okay, ma? Okay. Okay, so we just dismiss here. Lah. So the next session should be the momentum. Momentum already share you the notes, lah, but the tutorial still not yet. I will coming soon to send you the tutorial. Okay, if your school already teaching, so you can do the example question in the uh, question paper already. Okay, so uh, we just stop at here. So everyone, good night for you all and good luck for your coming exam. Eh? Okay, thank you everyone and bye. Thank you.